Hey guys, how are you? All right, so this is just a little bonus video. I don't know right now when I'm gonna air it or, or not. And that noise that you hear is my grand dog, Lily, because she knows I'm talking and I'm in the art room and I'm not downstairs with her and she doesn't like the art room because the floor is too hard. So yeah, anyways. Um, we are here, I'm gonna make a paper clip, but I'm gonna do it a little differently. So I've taken some of the wooden shapes that I used for bases and I've put a coating of gesso on them all. I did five of them. I don't know how many of these I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do one for you all on camera, but um, that one's kind of stuck a little bit, that's okay. Um, so we're gonna pick one in a minute. I am by um, trade a painter. Um, that's how I started my creative journey was actually sewing and doing needlework and uh, painting. So mixed media kind of came along later. I love paint. Um, so I'm gonna actually, had, I've had this idea for a while to create uh, little mini paintings on some of these and then making them into paper clips, which I think would be really cute. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna use our, my color inspiration journal which I've been working on. If you've been following me on social media, you've seen this. And I collect magazine images that I'm inspired by color and, comp and or composition, maybe a single image, maybe a group of images, and then I create a color story to go with them and put notes and um, randomly stamp this down here, which is funny, I've been asked about that a lot. I stamp, um, using all of the paints that I've swatched here with, with this piece of cardboard. <laughs> I just want to see what the marks look like and what it would be like when they're sort of blended messily together. And I do that on every page. I, and I guess like me, you guys think it's like one of your favorite parts of the journal, which I don't disagree with you. So anyway, that's what that is. Um, and we'll be talking about that more in a different video because I have one more page that I'm gonna do in the back here, sneak peek, and I'm gonna do it on camera. But anyway, so we're gonna um, take inspiration from one of these color stories in here to create a little painting. Um, I just wanna show you how that you would use a journal like this. And I think I'm gonna try to do one that's kind of, this is like more of my normal color palette. This is not, you'll notice there's no yellow in here. There's no like bright pink or neons. It'd be more of a challenge. I'm kind of wanting to be challenged a little bit. I love that color story. Um, with a color, I think we're gonna go with this one. So I'm gonna pull these colors out of my bins or colors that are close to it and we're gonna create a little painting on one of these wood shapes that I've gessoed. I'm gonna fast forward through that process. It might have nothing to do with this. Um, it might be something completely different, but I'm gonna use these two pages of color and composition to create a painting on one of the paper clips. So let's see where I, where I go with that, shall we? And I'll also fix the lighting, because you see that reflection? That's the overhead light. I'm gonna turn on the LED lights so we don't have that on there, because that's annoying. All right, I'll be back.
Okay, so that's done and the extra paint is drying on some scrap newsprint paper. Um, that's a newsprint pad from Muji, the Japanese department store. You get them in their stationery department. They look like this, it's really fat. I've been using it up. Anyway, really handy in the art room. Um, so we're gonna let this dry and then we're going to turn this into a paper clip slash little tiny piece of art. All right, I'll be back. Okay guys, so it's dry. How cute is that? Um, because it's a painting and it's on a what's gonna be a paper clip, it's probably gonna get some wear and tear. So you need to make sure that you give it some kind of a clear coat. Now you should do this with your paintings anyway um, it'll help protect the paint and give your artwork some longevity, whether it's watercolor or acrylic. You do the clear protective coat in different ways for the different mediums, but you should do one. Um, so I'm going to do one in this one. That being said, I don't necessarily want it shiny. I kind of like the matte finish that's on it. So I'm going to use DecoArt DuraClear Matte Varnish. I have been putting words on all of my paper clips. I do think I want to put a word on this one. So let's see what words I have. I'm thinking the, um, I was thinking these big chat stickers, they actually might be too big. Hang on. I have loads of words because they're really my thing and I figured out early on I really like having words on my artwork. So I've got this little folder. Let's see if we find something smaller. Ooh, this something on here might work. These are some old Teresa Collins stickers. Um, let me find something. As soon as I turn the camera off, I found one. I like this one down here at the bottom. It says blessed life. Don't know why I like that one for this, but I do. I am gonna give it a little bit of a trim. So it's on there, but it's not on there. You know what I mean? I really should be doing this with my reading glasses on. I'm sure it's crooked, but that's okay. Put it down here at the bottom. Perfecto. Okay. And then we're going to give it a coat of the DuraClear matte varnish and we're going to let it dry. Once that's dry, then we're going to attach the paper clip to the back. And I'm just going to, I think I'm going to just leave the back plain. I may take one of these scraps of painty paper from where I wipe the brushes off and use that on the back. I'm going to attach the clip. I don't know at the moment, but let's put the clear coat on and then let's let that dry and we'll take it from there when we're done. Okay, so the clear coat is all dry. It looks like this on the back. Um, I kind of want to cover the back with a piece of paper. So even though there's going to be this white strip on it, so let's just do that. <laughs> Um, I need my tacky glue. Just put a healthy-ish amount of tacky glue on the back. And I'm going to use this scrap piece of paper that I was smearing paint on. I'm going to give it a little wiggle to spread the paint out. And I need a pair of scissors. Oh, there's a pair right there. <laughs> well, that's okay. Okay. 
So that looks better. I do kind of do that and flick up the edges. And make sure I've got glue everywhere. Okay, then it's time to put this on the back now. Usually I glue this down and then I use binder clips to hold the, this piece of Tyvek on here while it dries, but I'm worried about doing that even though this is dry, having the binder clip leave a, sorry I'm off camera, having the binder clip leave a little, sort of a mark on the front side which I don't want. But I do think I have a different solution. So. I'm going to turn my paper clip with piece of, my piece of Tyvek tucked in it upside down. This is the part you want facing out so you can oops, actually use it as a paper clip. So we want to glue this side down with the big part of the paper clip. And then put some on the sides. And then center it on the back of the piece of wood. Oh, right side up. And then push it in. And usually this is when I would do the, the binder clip, but we're going to give this a trim. While it's still wet, if the clip is a little crooked, strain it. Okay. Then I think what I'm going to do I think I'm going to take a couple of my small weights and make sure the table is clean and then just weigh it down. I'm going to shove the scissors under there so the bulk of the weight of the weight is on the Tyvek. There we go and we're going to just leave it like prop like that and let it dry. I'll be back. So it's not quite dry all the way but you get the idea. Oh, let me fix the lighting. Hang on. So, you know, some days I'm really glad that I thought to check the camera. <laughs> you know, I thought it was on and I was talking to y'all and it wasn't on. So, you know, anyway, um, it's not quite um, dry all the way on the back, um, but it's dry enough. So this is our finished paper clip. Really cool, and yes, it still does work as a paper clip. This is a piece of just craft card stock. So it's perfect for putting on a journal page, on a journal cover, maybe putting on a uh, ribbon or a string and getting a collection of them and hanging it on the wall of your creative space, um, sharing and trading with friends. They're really, they're unique little pieces of art in their own right. Um, although this is the first time I've painted on one, I don't think it's going to be the last time because that was a lot of fun. Um, and it was a lot of fun using the color inspiration book to pick the um, colors and um, inspiration from this page in the journal to create this little work of art which is what this journal is all about. Um, anyway, uh, I'm going to link Lolly Palooza's Paperclip Art Facebook group in the description below. Um, also, my link tree list of links is in the description below. So if you want to follow me on social media and see what other paper clips I'm making, because this is the first time I've painted one, but it's not the first time I've made one. I've been making them for almost two months now. So um, if you want to see what I've been up to, um, you can click on that link tree list of links and all my social media is there along with a lot of different places you can support the free content here on Facebook and over in the, fa uh, here on Facebook, here on YouTube 
and over on Facebook in the art groups and Facebook by um, joining my Patreon or shopping in the Amazon affiliate store or buying something in the Etsy shop. There's lots of different ways you can do that. So think about um, doing that and um, check out that link tree list of links. If nothing else, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter and follow me over there. Um, yeah, and that's it. I want you all to go out and have some fun, um, create something interesting and unique, um, maybe a fun little work of art like this paperclip. And um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. I'm going to go back to making paperclips. Bye, guys. Thank you.